MD Conference Live presents updates from the European Society of Cardiology in Barcelona. Doctor, thank you very much for being with us today. Would you mind please summarizing the key findings from the PLATO trial? Uh, the PLATO trial was a very large trial in the, the real world environment. So we included patients, almost all comers, with a heart attack, an acute coronary syndrome, both those with unstable angina, with non-ST elevation acute MI, ST elevation acute MI, in the emergency room early after start of chest pain. So it is representative of the real world. And we randomized 18,624 patients to two treatment arms. One arm received the current best treatment with aspirin and clopidogrel, and we allowed the recommended double loading dose of clopidogrel, so we really tried to give clopidogrel the best chance. And we randomized them against the new treatment, ticagrelor, <coughs> with a 180 milligram loading dose, 90 milligrams twice daily <coughs> maintenance dose. And they had this treatment for up to one year, and the average exposure was nine months, the shortest six months. And when we observed the results, they were strikingly positive. So the primary endpoint was cardiovascular death, myocardial infarction, and stroke. And we saw a 16% relative reduction, which corresponds to a 1.9% absolute reduction in this composite event that is very comparable to what clopidogrel can achieve compared to placebo. So we doubled really the effect of a platelet inhibitor in our trial. And this effect came without an increase in major bleeding. So there was no cost in bleeding. And even more <coughs> impressive, I think, was that total mortality was lowered. There was a 22% reduction of total mortality. And this uh, uh, corresponded to 14 lives saved per 1,000 treated patients. That has not been seen with any platelet inhibitor over the last 20 years, not since aspirin was introduced in 1988. So therefore, it is a very impressive result that I think will influence healthcare. So what would you anticipate would be the clinical implication the going clinical forward? <coughs> The clinical implications will be that this should be considered as an alternative to clopidogrel because it is, it is better and more effective and it comes without an increase in bleeding. So I think <coughs> for the acute treatment of patients, ticagrelor might really replace clopidogrel in the future. So as far as the um, safety profile, would you care to pr uh, comment on yeah. the safety yeah. profile? Yeah, when we started the trial, we were concerned about the safety of the compound because in phase two there were some worrying findings. One was that patients experienced dyspnea and we saw <coughs> attacks of dyspnea also in this trial. Five percent more, five patients out of 100 had some attacks of dyspnea during treatment. However, these were short-lasting, usually less than a week. They were mild or moderate, and they were reversible. And it, there were only one patient out of 100 stopping the treatment because of reversible dyspnea. The, the dyspnea was not related to pulmonary disease or to cardiac disease. So it seems to be a side effect that is related to a unique mechanism of the compound that influences a receptor that leads the patients to experience dyspnea. So therefore, <coughs> this seems to be a reversible effect that leads to few problems. We also had a concern <coughs> for arrhythmias, but we had close monitoring of around 3,000 patients initially for the first week and another 2,000 after one month concerning arrhythmias and it seems there were, were no problems, no clinical problems in relation to arrhythmias. So just now we see rather few safety concerns with this drug. The summary statement is that we now have a new treatment reducing ischemic events without an increase in bleeding and that should be considered as a new alternative to the current standard treatment in all comers with acute coronary syndromes. 